Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be evaluating an algebraic expression. Happy New Year. This is the first problem for 2022. We're given that a squared plus a plus 1 is equal to 0 and we're supposed to evaluate a to the power of 2022 plus 1 over a to the power 2022. I'll be presenting two methods and let's start with the first method. For my first method, I'm going to be solving this quadratic equation. And obviously that's going to give me two different roots, right? But does it matter which root I use? We're going to find out. So, to solve this quadratic equation, it's not factorable. So let's go ahead and use the quadratic formula. a equals negative b, which is negative 1, plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 1, minus 4ac, which is 4, divided by 2a. 1 minus 4 is equal to negative 3. The square root of negative 3 obviously is not a real number. Therefore, the answers are going to be complex. So we can write this as negative 1 plus minus the square root of 3 multiplied by i divided by 2. So that gives us two roots. And we can basically use any one of these roots. The answer is not going to matter. You're going to see uh, when we take one of the roots. And I will go with the positive version. So I'd like to use a equals negative 1 plus root 3i divided by 2. Now this is a complex number, therefore we can write it in polar form because that is going to make the, the exponentiation easier because we need to raise it to the power 2022. Obviously you don't want to take an expression like this and raise it to the power 2022, right? I mean you can use the binomial theorem by all means, that's another method, but that's going to take a very long time. That's why we're going to write it in a nicer form, which is called the polar form. And now we're going to use what's called the, the Moivre's formula. I know I'm not pronouncing it correctly, the French way, but, you know, that's what it is, basically. Anyway, so let's go ahead and evaluate uh, a to the power 2022 from here. So, But in order to be able to do that, first of all, I'm going to call this number, well, I could call it Z, but it's already called A. I'm going to check the modulus, the absolute value of this complex number. And it is going to be 1, so that's kind of nice because uh, when we raise it to a power, we're not going to have to raise the modulus, which is 1. Or, or if you raise it, it's going to be 1. Anyways, so let's go ahead and write this in polar form. To be able to do that, consider the following. We're going to find an angle whose cosine equals negative 1 half and whose sine equals root 3 over 2. If you are familiar with the unit circle and special triangles, such as the 30... 69 the triangle then you should know that this point first of all is since it has an, a negative x value and a positive y value it is going to be in the second quadrant so we're talking about an obtuse angle and that angle angle happens to be uh, 120 degrees which can also be written as 2 pi over 3 in radius so that's going to be our angle and we can basically write this as cosine of 2 pi over 3 plus i times sine 2 pi over 3. Great. So if you were able to write it in polar form, now we can go ahead and raise this expression or number to the power 2022. Now what would happen if you went with the other root, which is the negative negative version? That will be in the third quadrant, which is kind of like a reflection of the same number pretty much. But when we raise it to the power 2022, you're going to get the same answer. It doesn't matter which one you use. Great. So now I want to raise this to the power 2022. And obviously you want to use at this point uh, the formula called the Moivre's formula. Okay. So the Moivre's formula is basically if you have a complex number such as z equals r times cosine alpha plus i sine alpha. And you can basically raise it to the nth power by doing the following. r to the nth power and then multiply the angle by n for both the sine and cosine, and you'll get the answer. Pretty easy, right? It's really nice. So let's go ahead and use that formula here. And when you multiply 2 pi over 3 by 2022, because uh, 2022 is actually 674 times 3, so that's going to give you an um, integer, obviously, and you're going to get an integer multiple uh, of pi. Not only that, but you're also going to get an even multiple of pi. Let's find out. So we're basically talking about um, for a to the power 2022, the answer is cosine of 
Uh, 2 times 6, uh, 174 is going to be 1,348. So it's going to be 1,348 uh, 1, pi plus I sine 1,348 pi. Some people write this, the cosine plus I sine as CIS, but I don't like that notation for some reason. Anyways, you can do it if you want. So that's my number, but still not a very good answer, right? I have a lot of pi in it, so we can simplify it. Now, why did I mention the fact that this is a multiple of 2 pi? Uh, because 2 pi is 0. Therefore, this is the same as 0 degrees or 0 radians, whatever you want to call it, right? They're both the same. So from here, we get a very simple expression, something like cosine of 0 plus i times sine of 0. But that's just 1, right? It's, um, well, cosine 0 is 1, so it's 1 plus 0 i. Uh, therefore, it's just 1. So 8 to the power 2022 equals 1 then. But what was I looking for? I was looking for um, the expression 8 to the power 2022 plus the reciprocal of that, but the reciprocal of 1 is 1, therefore, from here 8 to the power 2022 plus 1 over 8 to the power 2022 is just going to be 1 plus 1, and the answer is going to be 2. And that brings us to the end of the first method. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. All right. So second method is definitely a very different method. We're going to use pure algebra and a little bit of factoring. So here is the second method. I have this given, and I'm supposed to evaluate the same expression we just did, right? 8 to the power 2022 plus 1 over 8 to the power 2022. How do I evaluate that? But well, let's go ahead and take a look at this expression right here. What does that remind you? Well, it should remind you part of a uh, difference of two cubes because if you multiply both sides of this equation by a minus 1 obviously 0 is not going to change but on the left hand side you're going to get a cubed minus 1 equals 0 but that means a cubed equals 1 but does that mean a equals 1? no because we know that a equals 1 does not satisfy this equation right obviously therefore that gives us something real nice. A does not equal 1, but a cubed equals 1. So you always have to keep that in mind because a is not a real number in this case, right? We don't want a to be a real number. It is complex, but we're just going to ignore that for now, okay? So we're going to go the polynomial way. The only thing you need to know is a cubed equals 1 and a does not equal 1. That's it. Great. So let's go ahead and evaluate what we're supposed to, right? Well, I was supposed to evaluate this. Great. And since I know a to the power 3 is 1, I can just raise it to the power uh, 674, I think that was it, right? Plus 1 over a to the power 3 to the power 674, because 3 times that is going to give us 2022. Great. Well, a to the third power is 1, so this is going to be the same as the previous one, 1 plus 1, and the answer is going to be 2 again. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment. Like and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.